I want to talk flowers because Martha's Flowers, which is our online way to buy flowers, uh, marthasflowers.com, uh, is now marthastewartflowers.com. Stewart exactly. And you can go to marthastewart.com and, and access all the whole, the whole website. And we have beautiful growers flowers, and these are, oh, I love everything. We that, have good, that, good varieties of roses. And Kevin's been working on all the beautiful arrangements that you can order online uh, to send to your friends, to your, uh, to your parents, to your to children. Yourself. Yeah, and to especially, I, I can for myself. That's great. It's a great so, way to live. So what's um, so what and these are also our containers. Yes, this is the silver chinois container, which actually is from your collection. I love that. And then this is the Fenton sort of take on a slag glass, and we're going to do this in love that alabaster too. color as well. Oh yes, oh so good. So it's good. It goes with any kind of color flower. So the assortment, I would go, I would buy three different uh, assortments of flowers if I'm going to do these myself. Well, actually, we've done that for you. When oh. you when you get the when you get it in the mail, you'll see that. It's already been oh, set up. Oh, it's right here, and the vase is here. Yes. Oh, fantastic. And so basically all you have to do In is just- In this real pretty box. Yep, you just pull it out, and you prepare the water with the cut flower food that comes in the package. Okay. And um, basically you just cut and go. For us- This we, prolongs we the apart. life of cut flowers. Um, it is a, a, a good thing to add to your water. And if you have a sticky stem, I still suggest to people to put like a teaspoon of chlorine bleach in the water too, to just to keep clean. that scum from forming in the vase. And it should be cold water. Alexis told me last night that John Cutie once gave her a bunch of roses and he put hot water in there so that they'd open fast. Yeah. And they lived for a day. A day, that's so right. So you yeah. have to have cold water. It's yep. really important. I agree. So we've got our components. And okay, we can I have just Dusty do Miller. Our I have stock and I have white roses. Yes. Okay. Do you do you strip the roses? I have. Well, I try to take most of the bottom leaves off. Sometimes one or two at the and top. And sometimes, is good. if you see a, a, a little damaged uh, petal, um, you just take that off too. You can you can take that off. It's actually not so much that it's damaged. It's called the guard petal. Yes. So it's, um, it has been guarding the purity of the interior of the rose. Okay. So just look at every flower and and do what you have to do to it to make it gorgeous. And then I do two or three at a time. Just pop them in there and then build the arrangement around that. But you're not going to have to do that when you buy them from Martha Stewart Flowers. It's all done. All you okay. have to do is just clean it. So cut I'm just it, measuring, go. measuring how tall I want these. And now, what about cutting the flowers under running water? If you if you have a sink right nearby, if you have a it's sink a good to idea. do that, it's a really good idea. I think that just as long as they get in water fast and the water's clean and cold, that's the most important thing. I think. And these arrangements are pretty good because you can order multiples so that if you want to go down a table with it. Oh, or yeah, isn't that perfect? Flank uh, a fireplace, one on each side. And they'll be really pretty good. uniform, a little variety, but pretty uniform. And so you'll have a long table. You could use three or four arrangements. Exactly. And these are, these are really long lived. The great thing about that stock is it has that nice sort of um, cinnamon smell to it. I love the smell. I love fragrant flowers in the house and narcissus or stock. Um, also, tuberose is uh -huh. nice. These are all great. Oh, yours is yours is almost done. I'm s still oh, rushing around good. here. Did you know that Dusty Miller, that, that Dusty Miller is grown in Israel? It is? I didn't realize ah. that until the other day. It oh. is beautiful. It's a very soft leaf uh, member of the herb family. And it looks beautiful in the garden, but it also looks fantastic in a flower arrangement. And in the garden, it's pretty long lived. I mean, it can survive a couple of frosts or two, right? Oh, yes, definitely. But right now, everything is lying flat on the ground, Kevin. Is it? Oh, my gosh. Today it's not it was, wrapped in burlap. Today it was uh, below 20 in, oh, wow. uh, at the farm. So, this arrangement, this red one, you know, if the roses sort of blow a little bit and the carnations and the hypericum hang in there because carnations are good for at least two or three weeks, you can just sort of replace. Um, you know, with new roses or more carnations or something like that. It's really easy. Mm, so these are fantastic arrangements. I hope you like them. Thank you, Kevin, for coming Thank to visit you. with nice us. Nice to be here.